know, company like Accenture or in India, you know, Infosys as Wipro's, they emerged, right? But all of this was backed because of uh, emerge, certain technologies that emerged. And today, those technologies have gone a lot further. With remote uh, networking, with remote management systems, with technology coming in more and more and more, your ability to diagnose and rectify a fault online, sitting remote for someone across two continents is a reality. So I see a huge amount of uh, you know, opportunity there. If you don't have hardware, where is your software going to sit? If you don't have networking, how are you know, computers going to uh, talk to each other? I mean, this is the very basic uh, you know, requirement. There is it is a huge opportunity. The demand is huge. Supply is not there. The good news is the people who come to JetKings, from a demographic standpoint, are the kind of people who have already made the right decision. Hardware and networking provides you the base that you need to, or I would rather put it as a launch pad that you need to go into any of these businesses. You talk about the gaming industry. I can never play a game without hardware. And these games are all networked today. You have multiplayer, massively multiplayer, you know, games that are, uh, that are there. Uh, you talk about cloud computing. If I do not have fundamentals of, you know, networking hardware, I mean, they, we can pretty much forget about me going there. I think this is a, a launch pad to get into any of these fields. Today the expectation is that the student comes to them trained. So the entry into the corporate has become much tougher, the bar has become higher. And the expectation is that these students, hit these new fresher that they have hired, hit the ground running and they become more productive. So what it really means is that training companies like yourself, JetK, will have to focus on making sure that their students have the skills to become productive day one. Uh, Training is extremely important as far as uh, you know developing people's capabilities are concerned. And uh, people come in with, uh, everybody has a basic level of intellect. Everybody can learn, right? And on top of that, if you're adding this particular layer, in, in, in your case, uh, you know, the whole aspect of upskilling people in hardware and uh, the networking area, uh, it definitely will help. Soft skills and over a period of time, managerial or leadership skills are all increasingly becoming important for people to succeed in industry today. Companies who have been able to bridge that gap of taking someone after a 10 plus 2 or a graduation, adding their skills that the industry wants and then making them ready, making them employable and then putting them to industry. I would say communication is number yes. one, number two and number three.